Hello sock knitters. Just popping in a quick video today to help with the gusset decreases that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the slip slip knit and the knit two together. So what I've done, I've got both of my stitches, my gusset stitches picked up on both my DPNs and my nine inch circular. For today, I'm going to demonstrate the decreases on the nine inch circular. They work exactly the same way on the DPNs. It's a little more easy to see on the DPNs where those decreases have to happen because those needles make a great divider. And that's why I've placed stitch markers on my nine inch circular so that when I get to them, they give me a really good reminder that something has to happen. So I have knit all the way up to three stitches before what would be the end of needle one. So I know for a fact that I picked up 25 stitches on my first side and I only picked up 23 stitches on my other side. So I know that on this first side, after I get past the end of my round, I put a stitch marker there so I would remember where the beginning of my round was. This side of the decrease is going to be the knit two together. I have to do two extra knit two togethers on this side in order to match the number of pickup stitches that I did on the other side. So those are really easy to add in as we go. I just have to remember to do them. So maybe writing yourself a note or, you know, putting in two elastic bands on your wrist and when you've taken care of those extra ones, remove them, whatever works for you to, to remind yourself what you have to do. Okay, so the knit two together decrease is pretty straightforward. I am two stitch, I'm sorry, three stitches before where my instep stitches are being kept or three stitches before the end of needle one on the DPNs. And so you're simply going to slip your right hand needle to the left of those two stitches, slide your needle in for your knit stitch for those two stitches, wrap your yarn, pull it through and you're done. There's your decrease. Knit that extra stitch, move your marker, and oh, it's always a little fiddly there. And then carry on across your instep stitches. Okay, so that's it. That's one decrease done. Just to keep in the back of your mind, if you're knitting a 68 stitch sock or however many stitch sock you are making, you have half of your stitches on the front. Those are your instep stitches, the ones that go over the top of your foot. This number will not change in between our stitch markers and also on our DPNs. Those are the ones that are being held on needles two and three. Those numbers never change. The stitches that are decreasing are happening on needles one and four, or on our circular, all of these stitches that are here and here. These are the ones that are decreasing. The number that we have at the top, at the front, never changes. So our goal is to end up with an even number of stitches on this side that we have on this side. So because I'm knitting a 68 stitch sock, I want 34 stitches on my instep and 34 stitches on the back of the sock. So let's get there. I'm going to knit my way over to the other side and I'll meet you in a, in a minute. Okay, I made my way around to the other side. I moved my stitch marker and I knit one more stitch like the pattern tells me to do. And now it's time for my slip slip knit decrease. So in order to do this, you take the first stitch, you slide your needle in as if to knit that stitch and I slip it off my needle. I take my second stitch, do the same thing, slide it off the needle. Then I take my left needle tip and I'm going to scoop those two stitches back up so that now my right hand needle tip is on the bottom, 
my left hand needle tip is on the top and that left hand needle oh, and I can see I just lightly split my thread so I've redone that so now and, and that's easy to do you can just slide that needle tip back out wiggle it around make sure that you don't have any yarn that split that both needle tips are touching metal to metal or wood to wood and you simply wrap that stitch and then you're gonna pull that right needle tip out through the bottom through the loop off you come and now you have just knit a two stitch decrease slip slip knit and that's it and then you continue knitting your way back around so our pattern is every other row is a decrease row not every row so now that I've done my two decreases my knit two together on the one side and my slip slip knit that I just did this next round is an easy one I just get to knit all the way around in a few rows I'm going to do an extra decrease on my knit two together side because that's the side that I picked up two extra stitches so I'm going to do that in a few more rows so on the plain round I'll add just an extra knit two together stitch but I'll skip the SSK and then maybe four more rounds after that I'll do it again I'll just double up on that knit two together stitch and that's it so knit two together on this side and the slip slip knit on this side the reason why we do two different decreases and not just one decrease that's the same for both sides is that when we make a decrease it makes the stitch slant and so when we do a whole row of the same kind of decrease those stitches will slant this way and then your slip slip knit stitches will slant this way so it makes a really neat and tidy row all the way up the side of your sock and when they all slant the same direction they all look neat and tidy so that's why we do that just a reminder if you are knitting your sock on DPNs and you're doing your gusset decreases don't forget that you need to add back in that fifth needle when you start your uh, knitting on your first needle this is where you're going to insert your fifth needle and you knit all of these stitches go onto that fifth needle and then this becomes your empty needle that you keep knitting with so it's just like when we were knitting in the round here you have to go back to using all of your needles and don't forget these stitches are never decreased it's only the stitches on this side that we're decreasing and that's it I hope that was helpful if you have any questions or any more problems or concerns hop on over to the Facebook group learn to knit with us and either Louise or myself or there's a few other knitters on there who are pretty proficient with socks someone's there to help have a great day happy knitting